courtesy of the Mekong River, um, which is which in turn creates a very acidic soil, ideal for rice to thrive. But what else? It seems that there's it, everything is perfect. Uh, there seems to be no problem with the way that this uh, particular province create crops, produce and export crops, right? Not really. And in my opinion, the biggest problem, there's only one biggest problem when we're talking about product, crop production in Nanjing. It's efficiency. You see, while geographical and human resources are two of the main factors that really carries the entire economy, agricultural economy base, um, the evidence is when you see this, the number actually, the number is very significant. Um, yet, it also doesn't take a genius to know that there's a lot of potential left on the table. In my mind, most of this stems from two main problems. Um, consistency, consistency in technology uh, adaptation, adoption, and the problem of land policy. Now, because of the debatable and complicated characteristic of the latter issue, I will only consider the former. So, consider the second point as currently out of the equation. The problem that I'm discussing is the matter of technology implementation. While the use of technology is not new and are growing, the problem becomes more apparent when we are talking about small scale farm, especially those owned by a small farmer. This problem can either be contributed to budget, accessibility, or simply a lack of knowledge. This can bring in sluggishness, or sometimes in the case of natural disaster, can be extremely devastating. All this brings me to my final point. My personal idea for a potential solution come mostly from the local government. They, the farmer, need the authority to support and provide these technological miracles that the people will need.